I want to give a shout out to everybody out there that's uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, sharing, whatever. I appreciate y'all. I never take it for granted because I know how difficult it is to gain any type of support whatsoever. So I'm very grateful and very thankful to you. Let's talk about the old school real quick. Let's go back. Let's dip it all the way back to the 18, 1400s. I'm just playing. We ain't going that far back. But we are going to talk about a topic that doesn't get touched too much. I know we are in the independency realm or we are in an independency explosion for women. Women are doing great in business. Shout out to all the women that are out there that are taking care of business, that are uh, becoming successful, that are... Uh, Realizing their dreams of being an entrepreneur, CEO, getting that better job, moving up in their pay grade. I, I have nothing but support and love and uh, honor for those women. Because once again, I was mainly raised by women. I love to see women successful. Love it. I have no problem with it. I don't feel threatened in my manhood whatsoever. I feel as masculine as I possibly can. Now, with all of that said, we got to talk about the real real. Women like our grandmothers, some of us great grandmothers and whatnot, were not allowed to have certain civil rights, right? And privileges as the average male, right? I think that was wrong then, and I don't know why it existed, but whatever. Women were stripped of the ability to go out there and get the same income or opportunities economically as a lot of men. We talking about way back in the day now. Of course, a lot of that has changed now. Women are making more money than ever. And once again, that's a, that's a great thing, right? So they're able to have more control over their particular futures. They no longer have to depend on a man financially, which means they can go out there and be as independent and free as they want to. I 100% agree with that. They say the problem is a lot of our grandmothers wanted those privileges that these modern women have. They didn't have those, and you will hear them talk with regret. The question is, what is the actual regret? Well, I ran across a video where an older lady um, talks about this, and, well, y'all give me y'all opinion. If you had to give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Obey my mother. I, I finished high school at 16, and she had planned to send me from Fort Worth back to Marshall, Texas, to Wiley College, because I would have been the first grandchild of her 18 sisters and brothers to go to college, but I got married. Oh, she was so disappointed. And it took me four years and four babies to realize I was going to have to raise my husband too. So I cut my losses. I went home to my mother. And do you know I had nerve enough to say, I'm ready to go to college now. And she says, I got no money to send you to nobody's college. They try to make it seem as if our grandmothers were so damn happy. The women that came before us, that the reason why marriages lasted so much longer is because people were happier than no, 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 no. And this is part of the reason that there's so many men right now who are making a push to talk about trying to go back to the times of the 1950s and taking women's rights away. We need to regain control of women again, the way it used to be in the 1950s. Because they know that when women are able to choose, they choose differently. It was a study that was done that single child-free women are the happiest women in society. Why is that? Psychology Today had that article that went viral, that there's a growing number of single lonely men. Why is that? Suitable mates. They don't want to change. They want you to shut the F up. Last night, we talked about that, that therapist that was fired. She went viral for telling black men that they need to get therapy and work on their communication skills in relationships so that they can have healthy relationships. She has a ton of regret that she decided to get married young, which was very common back in the day. My grandparents also got married very young. Because I am not the average, most stereotypical male, my mindset is all about equality. My mindset is all about freedom. My mindset is all about uh, accountability. My mindset is, is let's have as much equity as we possibly can. You know, let's spread things across the board so that everyone has the same opportunities to do X, Y, Z. As long as they earn certain opportunities, they should get certain opportunities, right? But I noticed that a lot of men in the dominant alpha male community, I mean the super, super alpha male community, they don't share those same sentiments. And I understand why, once again, my father was very super alpha male, my grandfather was very super alpha male. I get it. So as you can see, I'm all about women having the same rights and freedoms as men. 
Why wouldn't they? They're humans too, right? We can't get in this world without women. I've never heard men say that women weren't important to society. I've never heard a man walk around bragging about being independent, right? Never. You never hear men say, you never hear men say, we don't need women. We can do everything without women. Women are useless. They're, you never hear that. But you do hear that from women. Some women do say that. And so women, of course, are going to be happier making their own choice initially making their own choices and doing their own thing initially but then they get to a point where they realize that a lot of them actually want to try to go back to the old school ways learn a lot from the old school there are a lot of good ways there but everything back in the old school wasn't good it wasn't productive it wasn't fair for both parties just like everything now is not fair for both parties so what we have to look at is why are we trying to insinuate that men are trying to force women back into those roles if you don't want to be in that role there there are other kind of women that will be in that role there are other kind of women that want that lifestyle if you don't want that as a woman you have the freedom of choice to say i don't want that the problem is you want it but you don't want the responsibility or accountability that comes with it so like i said all this submission talk between men and women back and forth back and forth to me it's stupid it's dumb it's irrelevant a healthy relationship doesn't need that. As long as you respect your partner and honor what they say and they do the same thing and y'all are both loyal and both committed to the relationship, it should be just fine without religion, right? And without submission, it should be just fine. Rights over their body, they should have the rights uh, over, you know, working or not working, you know, the, the same basic rights that men have, right? Right? They should have had that long time ago. I, once again, I don't know why they didn't, but I noticed that even my grandmother has those same regrets. When she talks, it's not like, oh, I regret that I ever got married or I regret that I had seven kids or anything like that. It's more of, I wish I would have been more independent with it. I wish I would have been, speak up more for myself. You know what I'm saying? And just have a lot, of, a lot more say in where I go how I go and what I do, right? As an adult, because we're talking about adults here making adult decisions. The man should not be making all the decisions in a relationship and the woman should not be making all the relationship decisions. This is where I also draw completely different away from a lot of people because even some women, I don't believe in submission. I think submission is for animals. I said this before in the video, I believe submission is for animals. We don't need necessarily need submission for a relationship to be successful and healthy. I don't know where y'all got that from. I don't know what book y'all are reading from or what script you're following. But you don't need submission to have a healthy, respectful, loving relationship. A lot of men don't want to change. A lot of men just want you to shut the F up, do what I say. I'm the boss. I'm the CEO. I run this. You just be submissive and do whatever I say, right? And she's right in that regard. There are some men like that. The majority of men, or well, half of men, are not like that. I'm gonna say half. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give some leeway. Half of the men in the, in this country are not like that. They don't believe you should just shut up and never say anything and never have any rights as a woman or anything like that. You're talking about the worst of the worst men. You're talking about extremists. You're not talking about the average Joe, right? And so. This is not to go at the young lady, you know what I'm saying, that, that presented the article. This is just to say that it should be fair on both sides. It should be fair on both sides. The problem is a lot of women are constantly choosing the same type of guy over and over and over. The bad guy, the thug, the street guy, the bad boy. I mean, it's like they are allergic to good men. A good man is going to make sure that you have the same right or the same amount of say as he does in the relationship. Why wouldn't he? But you're focused on one type of man and wonder why this continually happens. You wouldn't live with regrets when you're old if you make better decisions. Make better decisions, men and women. 